Good morning followers and viewers all around the world. We're offshore Fremantle, Western Australia this morning filming this lovely Image 60 fishing vessel wave action. She's the Anamsa survey 3B up to 200 nautical miles offshore. Able to take uh, three passengers, three special personnel rather, and three crew. Beautiful day off Western Australia today. Quite a contrast to the recent weather we've had. And this weapon boat wave action, she gets straight out of the hole there and we're up to an 18 knot cruise with ease. We're powered by a MAN V12, 1000 horsepower. With only 7,800 hours on the clock from new. That new engine was actually Fitted following an extensive refit in 20 from 2016, so 2016, this vessel went under an extensive refit. I believe it's conducted down in Henderson, Adam. Uh, in Fremantle, yeah. In Fremantle, in fact. All new pipe engine came out. All new piping, brand new gearbox, paint side power bow thruster was installed she looks great as a result and the maintenance the current operators and crew invest into this vessel are reflected today as she presents and performs extremely well we've just completed a drone shoot prior to this live stream and uh, she's looking hot to trot expansive work platform out the back deck now this vessel as I said she's in Amsa 3B she's just done the three year uh, the five year extensive uh, survey inspection shaft survey and hull survey, so it's all fully refreshed. She's been listed for sale with Oceanium. Give myself or Lachlan Boy a call. Yeah, we've got to, uh, speed here, Matt. We're going to pull up. That MAN really does give a nice, healthy note. And the image 60 doesn't know what's going on. She is soaring along this morning. Beautiful day for it. 2050 RPM. 2000, 2050 RPM. And 23 knots. And we're reaching 23 knots. So if you're in a rush to get somewhere, someone's injured themselves, I guess that's the only reason you're cranking around at this rate. Or some she can get there. And the mighty wave action is ready for sale. We're fitted with twin gen sets. Below deck, one's a 25 kVA, uh, sorry, a 20 kVA, and one's a 35 kVA. They're always fully maintained, they power the auxiliary systems. As you can see, quite the assortment of uh, deck lighting running on 240 and also grab some Hunt Horton and the standards of the vessel. Deck in refrigerated live tank, well I guess you do call it a brine, it's, it's, it's live live tanks and a total capacity of 44 24 forward as you can see there just next, just next to the 12 in the back and then 8 in the bait rack
as we pull it back to 18 knots, let's explain one of the best features of this vessel, the electronics and navigation assortment is extensive, in which the WASP 3D sonar mapping system that's a brilliant integrated system in conjunction with the uh, Max C, it actually reads the bottom of the sea floor and pumps out the uh, the data and the record of that of the sea floor bottom onto the Max C time zero chart. All inclusive in the sail package. We've got a uh, Furuno 1150 two transducers, three kilowatt and a two kilowatt, offering dual frequency. We've got two plotter programs, that Max C time zero, as I said. Smart catch plotter program. We've also got a Simrad up on the dash there, offering a three and one with radar and plotter. That Simrad also has a, actually a deck camera system, which will hopefully land this drone effectively without any drama and bring the drone into the cabin. I'll show you a quick walk around here before we get back to our Sunday afternoon. Let's pull it up to 10 knots there, Adam. We'll land on the back deck. We'll give this drone a quick walkthrough. As you can see, Lachlan and I are on the back deck here. We're gonna quickly land this drone. As you can see, great working area on the back deck around the winch. Access to the forward void. Lockie's going to take you straight into the cabin. We'll have a look at that fantastic helm station. Showing the array of electronics. It's brilliant to work from. You can see the deck camera there on the Simrad Max C Time Zero. And the two plotter programs on the on those two monitors. If you've got any particular spec you boat with, we can definitely help you with that. You can see a little dinette area there. Gents make their meals at, uh, whilst at sea. And Lock is going to take you down to the accommodation area where this boat is extremely well fit out. And the boys do stay out over, overnight for up to a couple of weeks sometimes. Thank you very much for watching guys. This boat presents absolutely lovely. Please do give us a call to Matt or Lachlan. Tom's also available and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.